life is about giving back. And it's something powerful when you can get people from all walks of life, from all social statuses, regardless of celebrity, um, regardless of your status in society, to come together and to give back. It's a powerful thing. That is when I truly believe that we as humans begin to live. When we begin to unite for a common purpose of serving the community, of making sure that the least of them are taken care of. And um, the Harvest Center Community Outreach, they're doing a wonderful job of fulfilling that purpose. <laughs>
dancing was my parents just took me to a dance class when I was three and met the love of my life so I've been dancing ever since um, off and on so when I was about 20 I had just gotten off of a tour and I moved here to Charlotte and I thought I would still pursue dance you know maybe more so in Atlanta and New York I'm from California so I moved here from California um, and I did take class and travel and do stuff for about a year, so I was about 21, and then um, started to really experiment with alcohol and partying and the whole nightlife. And I had never really been young and crazy and wild, so I really started to just party all the time and started to gain weight, and started to not dance anymore. And so for about three years, I really, about two to three years, I didn't. Um, and it was really a dark place for me. Um, and I realized I was an alcoholic. And so I'm a year and a half sober now. And I've been dancing for a little over a year. And it took me to go to rehab to realize that the pain that I was trying to numb out with alcohol was the actual absence of dance. And so, you know, it was painful and it was a struggle, but I'm so blessed and I'm so glad that I found my way back. And so I've just been fighting, auditioning, dancing, traveling, doing everything this past year just for dance. And it is definitely one of my higher powers and it definitely keeps me sober. So for that, I'm forever grateful. And I just want to thank, thank ITF so much, Studio Rush, Miss Lori Ann Boomkak herself, I love you, and to the Harvest Center for helping everybody put this together. Um, I just want to thank Inspire the Fire, Lori Ann Gibson, and Studio Rush, and the Harvest Center for bringing us. Before I go, I want to give a bad shout out to Lori Ann Gibson, Miss Boomkak. I can't believe it's Um, Studio Rush, my homegirls, and all that. And a big ITF! You already know how we're gonna do it. So, in the end, all we can really say is what's already been said, which is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Harvest Center, thank you, Community Outreach, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Wardell. Thank you to everybody who was responsible for making this happen. Just know that ITF is indebted to you. ITF loves you. And Lorianne, we will never forget this opportunity. And you taught me never to say goodbye. So I won't say goodbye. I'll say, see you in five. <laughs> Holla. <laughs>